this is my Talk To Me Tuesday and today is the 28th of August and this is my first anniversary in Talk To Me Tuesday. I've done something like 36 videos, I think this is the 36th or the 37th, I can't remember right now, and in 52 weeks. I have to say I'm pretty happy about it because the first one when I recorded it uh, in Italian I was saying that this is the first and last of all of them because I really don't like talking to the video camera and uh, instead here I am again after one whole year. Then you had time to look at my wonderful t-shirt. Isn't it wonderful? Weasley is my king. This uh, was one of the gifts that uh, Often Jen sent me and I was so so happy about it and uh, I have to show you also the other stuff. First of all, I'm so happy that Tackett is feeling better and that it's not something particularly bad that was happening to him and I'm still keeping my fingers crossed that uh, he gets better and better and that we'll get to see him in a better shape in the next uh, Talk To Me Tuesday of Often Jen. The other stuff that she sent me, the wonderful stuff that she sent me, are these things that she made and they are made using uh, um, stamps, American stamps, and they are so pretty, so incredibly pretty, but the most important of all is that I've got my personal Talk To Me Tuesday pin. Here it is. Isn't it wonderful? I should have worn it today also, but I wanted to show you close up, so <laughs> this is why I don't have it on me. And isn't it a wonderful present for my first year of Talk To Me Tuesday, my first, my real pin for the Talk To Me Tuesday? <laughs> and in the, the other stuff that often Jen sent me, because she's such a wonderful person, is, whoops, under here, is a fabric of Harry Potter. Here it is. With the various uh, houses. And I really should decide to do something with the wonderful Harry Potter patterns that are on um, fandom and stitches now that I also have a, a fabric for doing the the borders probably. So I'll really decide about this. And then she sent me this very, very nice bundle of Christmas fabrics. Here it is. And it's with a small pattern and I really like this pattern because it shows the same small uh, Christmas tree in three different uh, versions. So I'm sitting on the table, this is what, whoops. <laughs> there are three different versions of it. So this is the easy one, it's just one section and there are something like 10 pieces. This is the medium one, it's still one section with something like 30 pieces. And this is the more complicated one that has more sections to join. This is very, very interesting because I find that when I'm drawing my patterns, many times I start out with a very complicated pattern and then I simplify it a little bit to do my version of it and try it out. In the, and then I also find that I can simplify it a little bit more. So having the possibility also to give away three different or two different versions of the pattern are more complicated and are easier one is very interesting the only downside is that i should stitch two of them and also stitching one sometimes gets a little bit um a work <laughs> so i it's an interesting thing and I, i'll keep it in mind so what else shall i show you I published on Crafts in my latest uh, shoe pattern because uh, it really was one that I've drawn uh, some times ago, a couple of months ago, and then I left it out because it was different from the other ones. I didn't know if people would appreciate it or would find that it looked good with the other shoes. And this is it. It's a mm, normal, uh, it's a classic uh, Le Bouton, I think it's the right pronunciation, with the red sole. It has to have a red sole, otherwise it loses all its magic. It's three quarters view so that you can appreciate the sole, obviously. This is the pattern and it's very, very easy with just three sections, as you can see here. And anyhow, the size fits with all the other ones. So it's, uh, it can be mixed matched with the other ones, even though it looks a little bit different, the orientation of the shoe. And uh, I wanted to show you another thing that I've done this week. And uh, it's this one. I bought uh, a couple of patterns from uh, Offengen this week because uh, I had been postponing to buy them because I had really s lots of stuff to do. But when I heard that it was for uh, Tackett's sake, I really couldn't wait anymore. So I bought the Windless Worm. I have it stashed there within the patterns that I really should do in a short time, in the to-do, very short. 
<laughs> it's a very it's a very long to-do list but it's on top of the to-do list don't worry about it in general I'll do it certainly because I like it so much so it's the wingless worm and then the other one I can't remember the right name it's the one with the butterfly for the freezer te paper technique and that's really interesting because it's something that I really wanted to try out for, t for a long time so I'll check it out also and then I also bought because I was uh, scouting for patterns and looking around I bought this one it's the pattern for the Dalian's gloves by Jimmy Christina. They look incredibly elegant. I like her color choice also. And uh, she that has very good uh, instructions. They are pinned here so I can read them while I'm sewing. And they're very good and uh, accurate and they have lots of steps so all very well described. And her pattern has three sizes, small, medium and large. And she also shows how to here how to decide what size your hand is. So you have to put it on the right sign here and see where you where your hand falls. And um, she explains how to do it for a woven fabric or a knit fabric. So she here she has also some other examples done with a woven or knit fabric. I decided to try it out with some. Um, knitted fabric that I had here because uh, I wanted to test out how it came how it was going and this is my version so here they are and I know they are awful they look nothing like the one of the of the paper <laughs> like the one she's selling and uh, at least I know why now because why they came out badly so if somebody is interested in this pattern, I have to tell you that you really, really need the um, right needle, the needle for a knitted uh, fabric, the jersey, because um, otherwise it stretches too much and um, the thread breaks a lot. I didn't have it right at the beginning and this is why this part is all uh, wavy and uh, not very good looking. And you really have to use the right kind of... Uh, po of um, stitch the one for elastic stitch and it would have avoided this problem in this side that I done it with the right stitch even though the needle wasn't right still it's much better and the real real problem is stitching these ones on top because you stitch them on when you already have done the outer side of the glove in this way so you have the outer part the outer shell she calls it of the glove finished and then you just have a double uh, mm, uh, wrist uh, part and you stitch it on but this is too small to fit in the free arm of the sewing machine and so you have to stitch it like this and you stretch it a lot and you bend it a lot and this is what happened to mine it just uh, gave away and now it's looking particularly wobbly and not very well uh, didn't keep its shape part of it it's before the fault of my fabric I wanted to try it out and so I used this one but as you can see here now this is incredibly it's too big here it doesn't look good at all while here it fits perfectly and I really don't have big hands so it can't be fault of this one and this is the small size she says to use always a small size when you're doing with this kind of fabric because it gives away a lot so it's not good I'm not happy about it I'll probably use it anyhow and I'll certainly do it again with another fabric but this one was the one that was lying around that I could try it with and so this is the reason why I've done it with this one and uh, I'll do another one and I'll let you know anyhow it's a very well written pattern I have to say very interesting and uh, I'll certainly give it another go so I think this was all for the craftsy crafty part yes I think this was all just another couple of very fast things to tell you before this video gets awfully long I mm, I wanted to ask a question to many of the girls that do the um, their videos on live journal because uh, I've seen that many of you are Doctor Who's fan so I've seen lots of um, serials TV and so on but I never saw Doctor Who 
and uh, I wanted to fill this uh, gap in my instruction but uh, I've been searching a little bit uh, and I've seen that there are something like uh, I don't know maybe a dozen different series and uh, there are hundreds of episodes and it's kind of scary I can't start from right at the beginning and uh, I was wondering I've seen that there are different um, actors that made Doctor Who in various periods and I wanted to ask you uh, an advice from where to start so this is all for my Talk To Me Tuesday this week. It's been a wonderful year and I had so much fun and I met so wonderful people. And I have a new t-shirt to, to put on for my first year of Talk To Me Tuesday party. And we'll see us next week. And a hug to everyone and uh, goodbye.